What up, what up, what up, what up, you know what it is. It's another fantastic episode of the Fantastic Conceited Nobody. Yo, yo, what it do? We, we done reached a miniature milestone, episode 10. Yeah. It, it should be epic. It, it should be a nice one. Yeah, uh, I think it should be, too. A couple good personalities in the building. Uh, shout out. First, first, this Latour, which you already know who I am. And this your boy Corey, Mr. Corey GQ Fresh, aka the popular stranger, aka the outgoing introvert. All right, we're gonna introduce our guest, man. I, or do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, I wouldn't such, say such a special guest. I would say more. Everybody said that. Iconic yeah, figure. Everybody, everybody well, I'm, yeah. a, I'm an iconic figure. Oh right shit! Here. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, it's your boy Angelo three one seven. You know, for those that follow me on Instagram, Angelo So Real Read on Facebook. You know, number one, one of the top trainers in the country. I thought you were about to say number one Facebook in the world. So nah. just, one of the top what? Well, I'm going to humble trainer. myself. I'm going to humble myself. You ain't got to be humble. Yeah, you feel that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what makes you iconic? Just, I'm leaving a lasting legacy on this earth. You know, that's that's what I strive for, to be the best at everything I do. Okay, what makes you number one? I never said I was number one. Ah, oh, okay. I thought you was on it's that. A lot of number, Corey came it's a lot of Boy, it's, hey, Corey came hey, it's a lot of number ones out here. Okay. You know, a lot of kings out here. A lot of queens out here. See, that ain't a lot of that. Hold on now. You can definitely kill oh, the queens. You can't, you can't, there can't be a lot of number ones. That's yeah. oxymoron. That's too many. That's like 11s. 111. 1,111. Yeah. There can only be one king. Yeah. Oh, kings. Yeah. I feel where you coming from, though. And the head is heavier. Those who wear the crown. But yeah, we're gonna have a fantastic show, man. I wanna thank you for coming through. We didn't think you was coming. Yeah. And it ain't, it ain't even about you, man. It's about people be flaking well, and shit. You know I almost saying? beat him here, though. You did? Damn near. You damn near. Listen, did. man. Because <laughs> I was gonna call Corey to the office and shit. Like, this is a paying job. <laughs> I was gonna tell him, man, you ain't the last point. <laughs> you gotta start running some red lights and shit. And get I, I, I would have asked for a union deal. Talk to my union rep. Oh, no. It's 1099. 1099. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna have a fantastic show, like I said, man. We'll kick it off. Uh, it's been an eventful week in the uh, lives of people who people care about more than they do ours. Boy. You know what I'm saying? Not, not to say they more important, but yeah. people give a fuck. Put them on a higher pedestal. Yeah. Um, first off, man, I'm gonna kick it off. I just wanna talk about neither one of y'all, y'all disappointed me, both of y'all. You can't slam him about shit, because neither one of y'all watched the fight this weekend. But he a boxer. That does a little bit <laughs> So more I can't weight. slam him. Yeah. Just a little bit. a little bit more weight. I agree. Yeah. But uh, it's gonna be hard to talk about it. But my, do you watch uh, Triple G or uh, Canelo? I ain't really watched none of them like that. I watched Canelo a little bit. Triple G, you know, I heard like you know he ain't fighting so many. Where do you like, box, man? Man, I'm just a, a amateur. I wasn't no professional or nothing like that. Come on, man! Don't come up here with that humble shit. I wasn't. I wasn't professional. Yeah, my hands ain't even registered. But would you knock your niggas out? I actually not though, because everybody who right. watch box fuck with boxing fuck with these yeah. these two fighters. I know. Uh, HBO tried to try to shoot. Uh, HBO try to put Triple G down your throat, whatever. Right. right. Yeah, they definitely pushing by high, especially Stephen A. Now that's who really pushes Triple Stephen G. Stephen A. Trying to fit in right now. They they Man. they call Triple. I mean Stephen A. Out when they is talking about the uh, Lomachenko fight. Or something. You see how self centered he is? Yeah. Okay. I know. I, I can't. How do I get it out to where everybody yeah, can see it? Yeah, so yeah, 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 you know. There you go. So, there you go. There. What up, man? I'm with yeah. Torres. I'm part of Angelo Show. Yeah, you know. Uh, Corey, you know what? That's what we're going to have. We actually got a YouTube page. Too, yeah. So we put it on there. Okay. Yeah, we're going to post it. You're going to edit your ass out. Yeah. But it was a good fight, man. A lot of people uh, was buying the Jim Lampley bullshit where he was shoving down his perspective down everybody's throat. Uh, I think Canelo won it clearly. Uh -huh. He landed more clean, effective punches. Triple Z was aggressive, but he was missing a lot. Now you said something to me off air that I heard, which was, which makes a lot of sense. You were like the real boxer fan who watched boxing knew Canelo won, but 
but like the novice who just kind of like watch big fights think Triple G won. Yeah, it's because what they, what they do, like when I say the people new boxing, I'm saying yeah. the people I respect. Yeah. The people I respect who uh, keep up with it outside of, like you said, being casual. It's, when you watch HBO, HBO are the worst commentators in the world. Jim Lampley, he'd be out there fucking jacking off while he's watching the fight. He'd be over hype. Like he'd be a little bit too hype and shit while he's uh, watching whatever. But, uh, lift it up some. It was a good fight. That's the yeah. It was a good fight, man. That's going to uh, that's going to warrant a uh, um, rematch. Yeah, that's what everybody talk about the rematch. Yeah, we over here on some nigga shit. Hey. You know, but did you see Stephen A. and old boy? Uh, <laughs> nah, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Listen, look, Teddy, he Teddy, went. Hey, he did. He Teddy Allen's aware of cameras. He know what's going on. He know when the cameras on him, so he gonna overreact to every situation. Man. He's gonna dead ass hard. Uh, cool. He's trying to stay relevant. A HBO to bleed over to ESPN how they cover fights, but. Now they're going to start showing more fights on ESPN. Top Rank got a uh, contract with ESPN. Yeah, so they, don't show they just, yeah, they yeah. just. That's sound. how come Manny fall on there, Terrence Crawford, Lomachenko. I'm hoping they got the Lomachenko and um, uh, Rigadell fight on there in December. But look, I think Canelo and Wing will blow on this long as yeah. y'all ain't watch it. Wow. But, yeah, um, but I take your word for it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you just got the, the boxing podcast. So, <laughs> like I said, I... I definitely take your word. Hurricane, hurricane, yeah. it was a hurricane. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But um, yeah. Speaking of the podcast, you a fan of boxing? You can check us out on. Uh, you can check. <laughs> you can check us out on Thursdays at eight at standing uh, eight standing eight live. Uh, that's our boxing podcast. But anyway, back to more pressing issues. Uh. Somebody else took L this week, man. Two took L. Triple G thing. fans and Canelo fans. It was a draw. Fight was a draw. They went only two people took L this week. Hey, hey, we gonna talk about the biggest L first, or the, or the, the uh, let's talk about the biggest L. Let's, let's talk about. Hold on, who has the biggest L? Cause it's relative to how you feel. Uh, but well, is either K H or K D. I and really both, think they both play they still, but they, I'm, Yeah, they definitely. Yeah, they yeah, want to yeah, do yeah. an ascension with a big crescendo at the Fuck end. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, Hart, Hart Hold on. We lead up with Kevin Durant. It ain't yeah. a, it's not a good week to be Kevin. No, it's your way. To be Kevin yeah. this week is some a terrible Anybody shit. named Kevin, you know, I advise you go to your local brochure office or, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> state health department and get a legally name change for a week temporary. Like Ron Artest, when he changed his name, man, just just change your name for a week because it's a bad week for Kevin. <laughs> so, so go ahead. Which one you want to lead up with? We start with Kevin Durant and the, the damn performer he's doing. So... Mr. Sensitive, aka the Slim Reaper, or whatever. <laughs> Easy Money Sniper. Easy Money Sniper. That's a dope ass thing. Nah, that shit's so crazy. The was the worst shit I've ever heard. In my yeah, the worst shit ever. I'll be so shitty. <laughs> yeah. I, aka King Catfish. So this nigga got <laughs> 10 uh, Twitter accounts or whatever. So he talked crazy back to the fans. Somebody called him out for going. But it's to go. under a fake name. Let's be clear. Yeah, but it's under fake he's names. Not doing and like shit. A real nigga. Yeah, it's, not, it's under fake names, and he got one real account with his real name. So a fan called him out for leaving Oklahoma and everything, and so he thought he logged into one of the fake accounts. Now he logged into the real one, and went in on the fan. Talked about uh, he didn't want to play for Billy Donovan. The organization is trash and everything. Just talked about how he left, and then was like, uh oh, <laughs> damn, I used the wrong one. And that's the thing about social media, man. Motherfuckers be on it. Ah, right, motherfuckers think, on this shit. You know shit this quick. for the simple fact that if a bitch take a picture, a nigga be like, Ugh, look at the background. Yeah. You, know, like, you pay attention to every fucking thing, man. So for you to be right. using word association, be like, that's how Kevin Durant says can't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's oh. how Kevin Durant types. There's some weird shit going on, yeah. man. Yeah. That's yeah. high level fucking detective work. Boy. Because they, they, they got it all the way down to his Instagram page, but they're like, his brother? Yeah. They started associating shit with his brother, man. Like, his brother tagged him on his name his before. Brother, and what it was, the Instagram account he used is his private account. So when he clapped back, as they say, the youngsters say, when he, uh... Clap back. Clap back. That shit sounds so fucking silly. Don't it always sounds silly when white people start saying it. Oh, yeah. Like Once when, it gets to that level of <laughs> shit, you can't Like when they shit, use balling. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. Uh, I hate Bleacher Report. Oh. Uh, but go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> and so they was like, oh, this is the real Kevin Durant. So he... It's changed back and forth. Then uh, he apologized for us for uh, catfishing, I guess, or, or whatever the fuck he was doing. First off, KD just put out some shoes. They hard as fuck. What those red velvet shit yeah, or the blue ones? Oh, with we the stats. We crying on the bottom of them. Oh, yeah. Second off, Kevin Durant ain't no real nigga. 
Ah, yeah. Uh, and this why I ain't shocked. Shot. This why I ain't shocked. Because he don't brush his hair before the game. Yeah, ain't real no niggas out there. Ain't no niggas know they going to be on TV. You can tell Kevin Rent don't get bitches. Hold on, man. Hold niggas on, on the bitches all them, brushing their hair. All them nappy head dudes with the dang on fade on the side. But that's their style. That's their style. Kevin Durant just wake up and they go. They need a yeah. comb. Them niggas, they got little they brushes and shit where they do like Yeah, this. they got, it's called a sponge brush. But shit. what are like, you doing with it? You making it look like that. Man, look, I can't, just get up I can't understand these motherfuckers, but I can explain. Yeah, you're more in tune with them than I am. Man. Like, I but KD, man, I'm going to tell you. I always like Wade, so when KD, when KD, when KD, when KD don't brush his hair, that's here. a problem. KD like a little kid who mama like worked four or five jobs and shit, and she don't see him before she, he go to school. Yeah. It's like they didn't go to school with white shit around his mouth and shit. I can tell what kind of shit Shoes untied, shirt not tucked. Yeah, it's not He came back to his hometown, though. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. With the trophy. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. He pra- Going back to your hometown for the bride. That's what I'm saying. That's what yeah, like, through. That's like, and that's the equivalent when your bitch come home fucked. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's like your girl coming home fucked. Like, at least she home. I'm pretty yeah. sure. She's she 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 sure he donates. Everybody donates yeah, a tax write off. We're not talking about. Yeah. Uh, if we get this I'm talking about to his hometown. How we get this out of him with the fake Twitters? Yeah. He. Let's get back to Kevin. He, he might be a good guy. Yeah. He might be hey, I just think he just need guy. to ignore what people say. He, he can't. Should, he, he, should. Should. he should. He but should. He should. He can't. That's crazy. He, he he's looking for validation from people. Like he's one of those type of guys. Like, yeah, he's real. He got a mother's spirit. Raph, Raph Transmit. You know, he's raised by his mother, so uh, got natural. Spirit. Yeah. Got the insecurity. I mean, it's crazy how you can be that high level, like the best. At least top five, matter of fact, top three in your profession. Yeah, he's never. And you still let people who don't even fucking play the same sports you play critique you and make you feel insecure. I mean, there's people like sitting around on a podcast on a Tuesday evening talking bad about you. You worry about it. Yeah, oh man. How do you come? How do you come off your pedestal to argue? Hey, if you ever play the Patriots on Tuesday next year, stop on in. (laughs) Kevin, we know you listen. Yeah, we know you listen, man. We, you know, what I'm saying, come on, we 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 set you straight. I'm riding with you, Kev. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but look though, man. Right. And with all that said, this wasn't the biggest. This wasn't the biggest this Kevin L this week. I'll let you introduce this one. Hold man. on, man. I, I'm gonna play this for the fans to hear this shit. If you on uh, that live, you won't be able to hear it. But yeah, Kevin Durant he took a hell of a not Kevin no, Durant. No, Kevin Durant. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. He I was. It's on mute like a motherfucker. Yeah. I'm talking professional. But people online can hear this. Man. People ain't listening online. Kevin Durant got, I mean, damn. Kevin Hart got caught cheating. That issue that bullshit ass public apology. It was bad. Hey, Joe Buss said, hey, you can't start with apology by saying, um, it's the fuck you can. Um, I uh, mean, you had time to rehearse. Yeah, he, he had time. Ain't, he probably ain't rehearsed though. He did. That nigga rehearsed everything. But look though, man. First, I'm about to. I'm gonna also talk about. They say was yelling pineapples. Have <laughs> <laughs> you heard it? His confession. And then he's like, I just I apologize to the ones I love. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. That was Kevin Durant talking, man. Kevin Hart. Kevin. Damn, man. I'm so keep Look, look, man. Stuff. I mean, man. they both took L's this week. Look, first off, I'm about to read the uh, <laughs> the chick, the chick, her confession. Well, not her confession, but her fucking admonishment. Like, it, it was like, it's, it's vicious. Ah, yes. She said, the real reason Kevin Hart orchestrated the Hurricane Texas, uh, the, the Texas Hurricane Relief Fund, this so-called good deed, was done to get ahead as he uh, yeah. knew his That's damaging true. footage was one, one click away from being exposed as the liar and cheater he is. Kevin Hart was privy to me wanting to expose him as I have made countless attempts to expose this information to various blogs in an attempt to also get paid. And it's, yeah. Trash bitch. However, yeah, it's paid or no. Kevin Hart was tipped off every time every time, and most likely paid them off as, so they would not sell the story. Uh, hence, I'm here to expose him this way for free. Uh, and the reason why he started the relief fund. This is an attempt to play hero or to gain credibility once this uh, this is released. Between the dates of August the 17th, 2017 and August the 20th, 2017, the weekend of his pregnant wife's birthday, Damn. Kevin Hart was recklessly 
party Shots with fired. my friends. She should have been pregnant on her birthday for one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Shots fired. Party with my friends and I drinking, doing the, drinking, doing drugs, and having sex with multiple women at the Las Vegas Cosmetology Hotel. Seeing Kevin Hart blatantly disrespect his marriage in the way he did was appalling to me. Kevin Hart is womanizing. <clears throat> Kevin Hart's womanizing ways are so despicable. Personally, I personally know a handful of women who run within the same circle as I do, and they have also had sexual contact with Kevin Hart. Yeah, they too know women that Kevin Hart also has sexual contact with. For the record, I do not claim to be a saint. I know exactly who I am, what I am. We do too. Yeah, the difference too. is I'm not married, nor do I pretend to be perfect. Kevin Hart was so drunk and drugged up, it was an effortless attempt to film and take pictures of him. I hope every celebrity learns his or her lesson from this. Regardless of your financial status, you are not invincible. Shout out to Stay the Stay honest, too. faithful, and real. Everyone knows. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Shout out to the 5 by 2 Lamar Odom. You just didn't, you know what I'm saying, OD. Odom. I want to get both of y'all opinions on this. First, I want to get your opinion on your Angelo. Yeah. Chime in. What'd you think about it? I mean, it could go both ways. Maybe he did. Fucking Let's say he did. Let's say he did. But then the girl, you know, she wants some money out of the situation at the end of the day. You know, so. I heard something about it being in up under the FBI investigation. Yeah, he's, he's trying, 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 like trying to that. store her. He, he's trying right. to get her arrested. Right, so. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm gonna see how that play out, but if if he had all of his ducks, you know, in a row, he would. He, I would have denied it. She obviously out of the money. Like one picture that could have been taken. Like you can't just go off of that, you know. What about video? How much of the video? What type of? What part of the video is being shown? That little nigga was going to work. Pause. That's what they said. <laughs> So you see the party fucking? Yeah, you ain't seen that video yet? No, I, I yeah, she, re she released three videos. <laughs> like he and there fucking two bitches. Shout out to my nigga for you getting three. You see him though. blatantly on the video. After he fuck, he gets up and walk around like he got <laughs> like something you do at the crib. After you, after you hit your bitch or something, nigga, you get up and just walk around. Refrigerator. That's what he did. His voice. He talked to the bitches and everything. Damn, you look crushed. <laughs> nah, Damn. You got the date on the camera? <laughs> Everything. It's a smartphone. Nigga, it's the age of uh, okay. 2017. It's like it could have been an old phone. Hey. So what do you think, though? Yeah, like, dude. First off, Earth, you, are you speechless? Nah. I'm you just, see it crushed. I, you would, I mean, some people. Do we have to get you some tissue? Nah. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Dude. I mean, that's him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. We know that. Yeah, he has to give a... Uh, Objective opinion. What you think about it, boy? Uh, I thought the shit was kind of funny, and you know, he's, he got as long as he got a threesome out the deal. But what I don't like about it is he kind of took the Steve Harvey approach. Like, remember, he was down there, like, oh, I got the perfect woman and everything. I'm trying to be this. This is Kobe. Man. And then, yeah, Kobe. Sure everybody get caught. Yeah, but Kobe, you know what I'm saying? But he before he got caught, he was on a parade, you know what I'm saying? Because his ex wife was already calling him out about cheating. They said he was cheating with the new wife. So it's like, I don't, just pray, I don't want perfect in the past, but I'm doing everything right. And then a week later, your video drops. Now, the bitch, they said the chick asked for some money. She was like, nah. So she took it to the little blog site, and the family bitch, whoever it was, brought it from her to leak it. And so... This age of social media, man, that's fucking perverted. I mean, everything you do will be scrutinized and held accountable and used against you. In the court. He, uh, man, dude, listen. Kevin, Kevin Hart... First off, his wife ain't shot. She didn't only like the extra pussy. That's how she got it. She, yeah, that's how she so got it. She, she was the she, extra pussy at first. She knows. She went from backseat to I'm not to saying backseat. that he still, but he had a propensity to it. Like, he has. He's a serious He has that in his DNA to where it yeah. can't happen. So, even if he gets faithful, yeah. he had, he's done it before, so she can't just play totally shot. Yeah, she can't. Another thing with that is, I just don't like how how... The contrition, like he had, like he just killed somebody. He sure did. Ah, uh, he looked like Listen, he just dumped a body out of his he babies did it. He and did everything. It for her, he didn't give a fuck. Yeah, he did it for her to try to save her face. Where yeah. I don't understand it. I mean, it's 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 some shit. If I offended you, I'm apologizing to you. Yeah, and let's just keep it moving. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Now but, tell that bitch it's over. That's what that's what it was. Yeah. Tell that bitch it's over. You know what I'm saying. Yes. So now he it's like he can't probably for like the next year he can't go nowhere by himself. 
Ah, no, you can't. can't take the kids no with you. Yourself, man. And listen, when you I'm got that, I'm performing at a club. Take them with you. When you got that much, when you got that much leverage, uh, financial stability, and famous Kevin Hart, you don't put yourself in a position to have, ever have to say I'm sorry. Yeah. You think he signed a prenup? I no, he don't. He, he doesn't. He did. Nah, he's fucked. Oh, that's how it. That's, that's her shit. Though. Yeah. That's how her, her, her shit. Yeah. That's how her shit. But, but what but, about but, his first wife? Uh, she, she's already suing, but and it's so fucked up that this came out. And she like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Because she slipped up. The new wife slipped up and let the day. So I started dating Kevin after y'all broke up. And she said a date in an interview. Kevin was like, mm, you know. But like I said, he's a serial cheater. Like, the wife knows. He's a serial cheater. That's what they say. Listen, I don't know, shit. Just, just, just to combat that word you use, cheater. It's not easy. When I, when I always say this, if you don't cheat her, you're cheating yourself. If he want to do something and he don't do it, he's cheating himself. <laughs> so this is all. She might not cheating, be able to so give him a threesome. No what? I mean, he did. Yeah. I mean, no, it's maybe the wife wasn't giving him a threesome. So I'm going like, to go fuck these two you. bitches over here. Kevin Bro. Hart. Kevin Hart. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about the whole situation is him getting on there and pause y'all and this shit that. Yeah. Because he's like he's about to cry. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no wrong with saying I'm a firm believer of deny it to the end. Even if you get the R, just like, yeah, I fuck these bitches. I'm Kevin Hart. They throw pussy at me all the time. I mean, that's what you should say. Don't do What's it. What's she supposed to say to that, though? Yeah, what can she say to that? No, like, no, I'm saying, like, because yeah. that ain't no, you don't ever come in like that. I don't give a fuck how cool you is. You got to take your cool off a little bit. You can't come in like, bitch, you know how I do. No, that's pin Yeah. <laughs> you can't come talk to your wife and your, your man girl. I, well, like, turn it down like, hey, you know, I, I fuck, you know, it, it is, you know. I, you uh, know how I get around pussy. Yeah, you know, I mean, how, well, how'd, I, control. how'd I get with you? I mean, you know, I just couldn't, you know. As if this was you in that situation, same level of fame, money, but it's you and your brain, how would you handle it? Told you what I would do. I would deny it. I would sit in. No, no, no. It would be you. Ah. You just used to talk to Angela about modern technology. That's you. Ah, yeah. Once I get caught, like, hey, you know what it is? Hey, you know. You know how I get around this other pussy? I, I mean, shit. I turned down so much. And then I... So you going to turn to the victim? Huh? You going to turn to the victim? Yeah. You going you gonna to apologize on the TV? No, I'm not apologizing. For what? For getting some pussy? I never was on podcast. How would you, uh, how would you handle that if that was you in the Oh, I know how this wrong. nigga would handle it. Ten if million I'm roses. Single, shit. No, 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 you no, in this no. Situation. You in this situation here? You can't get caught cheating single. Uh, yeah. Cheating if you're single. Yeah. Don't get caught. No, no, you no, caught. You caught. If Fam- you was Kevin Hart, Famuloso, whatever it is, don't yeah. She got yeah, yeah, she, she, she. I'm putting you in Kevin Hart's direct situation. If that's you. How do you handle that situation? Hold on, do you pay the 80 grand to shut her up? Well, she wanted like... 80 gonna turn to 90, 90 gonna turn to 100. Yes. And then you gonna be trying to find a hitman. Yep. <laughs> now, you're in Kevin Hart's shoes, but it's you. You got the same little fame, everybody looking at you, they on Twitter. Ha 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 ha, I think you can't keep it. Ha ha, she should uh, hide all your shit on top shelf. All the memes is about you and shit for at least a week. Yeah, okay. How do you respond to yeah, that situation? Been, yeah, they been going in. I mean, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Would you issue an apology to your woman <laughs> on social media? Nah, that would be everything. Be you ever got caught cheating? No. You ain't that. Do you cheat? You just too slick. Have you I'm ever cheated? I'm single at the moment. No, we're not talking about history, the history. In history, you ain't never cheated. I say this: if a woman ain't doing nothing, you yeah, honor. I like to right, treat her as a hostile listen, witness. Listen, hold on. Answer the question. Answer the goddamn question. <laughs> if she wasn't giving, attending to my needs like I want, then yes. That's how women cheat. Yeah. When they might not be a man. It's emotional. Men cheat because the wind blows. Yeah. Like, we don't have to have a... Right. Like, like, like I don't have meet. to have an emotional tie. It's just, they sex drive ain't as long as mine. Mm. Or as high as mine. So, some 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 of the time. So, you never just cheat so to get some like, pussy? Yeah. Ah, okay. I just want to see if you still have some man in you. I man, just, pause, I nigga. <laughs> pause, you know. See, but, uh, oh, yeah. we going to look. But then it's like... You gonna look at the bigger picture. Like I look toward like my great grandparents and they was together. You know, that's what cheap Yeah, you know that's cheap back in the day. That's what they they, they was could, together they, they for sixty four years. Yeah, so you, you know, know so that kinda means something to me. You know, you that, know that women that, just more had more perseverance back in them days. Yeah, they stayed for they the They had that social media, this liberal one on camera phone back there. This feminism where tell them you can go get a girl, you ain't gotta take that. How, how many girls? I, I got a question. How many girls? Every man or every woman has. Changed. But like you're right, eighty turns into ninety, ninety to a hundred. 
But, but the thing is, gonna I mean, now yeah. she's famous. She might get shows. She, and who is she? Yeah, they re reveal her. Yeah, she, her. she. They say she's a traveling stripper. Oh shit! He had some on the go worthless pussy. Yeah, it wasn't even like he was. If he lost something, he had something like the other person had something to lose too. He just out get pussy. Oh, yeah. like everybody opportunists in this world. Everybody, we live in a capitalistic society. Uh, people chasing fame and chasing money. money. I don't like how she. Damn, like she tried to play honorable. Like, I'm yeah. doing this because you married But you. sisterhood. Yeah, you doing this. If you cared that much, you wouldn't have gave me no pussy. And you would have punched somebody in the stomach while they were sucking his dick. Yeah. So, you know so You can miss me with all that hero yeah, shit. Right, I don't like that. Whiskey. I don't like how everybody try to turn into a victim. Yeah. I, on either side. He shouldn't have gone here acting all sad, talking so Nigga, yeah. he did it. Why are you appealing to everybody like you but going I, I kind of understand why he's trying to show us how. Because he's looking at them. All these movies about to draw up. Uh, he don't, yeah. want, he want, he, don't want to lose them endorsements. He don't want to lose endorsements for it. This is not NFL. Yeah, yeah, this is an actor. Well, Sam, who, 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 what family movies do Kevin Hart make? Uh, Kobe dropped out, lost a lot Kobe's of endorsements. Kobe's a basketball player who was in for rape. Yeah, he took That's a whole so. difference. That's a yeah. big difference between rape and then somebody Kobe gets a willing, willing pussy. So. I thought when he, when he got caught cheating. Mm -hmm. He lost some more after that. How was he cheating? No, he was cheating in the rain. Yeah, he was, he was cheating when he took the pussy. Yeah, that's where the cheating came in. Yeah, but he paid a whole lot. Like, that nigga was buying and shit. But uh, I think he feel, he probably looking at it like, oh, I'm about to lose his endorsements. These movies gonna dry up, so let me go out here. He probably jump out for it. Now I wanna look human or whatever. Hey, I fuck up. But yeah. you know what? Enough about them. We're gonna talk yeah. about real slip. Yeah. We're gonna talk about the icon. Kevin Hart, he's chasing Richard Pryor. He's chasing Eddie Murphy. He's chasing Dave Chappelle. He's chasing the greats. Kevin Durant, he's chasing the George. He's even chasing the current LeBron. We're going to talk yeah. about the icon that we have here right now. Yes. We're going to talk about Angelo. Angelo, 31. He got, seven. Name. he got the name of a nigga who write poems. Yeah. He got, he got yeah. that laid back cool. I'm a poet. Got that laid back cool ass name and yeah. shit. Yeah. Angelo, one name. You know what I'm saying? Trainer, poet, boxer. It's like Madonna, Prince. Yeah. It's, it's in that rare elite company. Uh huh. What's that, the man? What's tell us a little bit about yourself, what you, uh, what you do, and, and exactly how you got here with uh, Mr. Corey, GQ, fresh. Well, uh, first thing first. I pop. <laughs> hip hop energy. You know, he, uh, he be meddling on my page a little bit. You Instagram. Know, cause I try to, I try to motivate, I try to inspire, I try to uplift. You know, these brothers and these sisters out here, not just for the workout tip. But also, you know, mind wise. So, my thing is, I listen oh, to a know. lot. Go ahead. But yeah. just, you said workout. So, can you let people know that you're yeah. a personal trainer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so, a personal trainer. People listen I to do, this. I do work out on two gyms. Sometimes I travel as well. Uh, my gym is off of 21st and Shaylin. It's called, it's called Windsor Village Park, 6510 East 25th Street, 46219. Uh, the other one is at Get Fit. I'm there uh, early mornings and late evenings. How much so is the session? It's like, you know. It depends. Is it so how you look? Nah. Uh -huh. it, it depends if you want session by session, weekly, bi weekly, or monthly rates. And the more you, you get, the cheaper the rate. And they can find you uh, the same on all your social media accounts? Yeah. All right. So yeah, we're going to get that. We're going to get some more of that information at the end. Yeah. I just want to make sure that they know that yeah, who's sitting here with us. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna talk more about that at the end, so they can hear it again, so they can contact you and stuff. But they okay. sitting around feeling like they need to get ready for Thanksgiving. Right. But yeah, I'm back to what you were saying, though, man. So how'd you end up on the show? Uh, so well, this guy right yeah. here, he invited me out. That that that'd be this guy. Right here. <laughs> you know. So we're gonna talk about you know some good game, you know, for men and women. Uh, you know. So you said I be meddling. How do I be meddling? How do you be meddling? Yeah, what, makes you, be what, meddling? Makes you, what makes you intrude? Yeah. Well, hold on, hold on. Makes I just feel like you like to get them rattled you. up, you know. So uh, a woman can't be this or don't have hold a on, potential you there, to, to be cut that. you off, but <laughs> so you, after I cut you, no disrespect, but uh, fuck <laughs> you. Nah, uh, so do you think two real twos is truthful? Yeah. Okay. Now you go. That's, I, I just want to understand. Okay. <coughs> if I may interject, Corey going to quit talking like he made two real twos. Right? No, I, I didn't say I made two real twos. Yes, he did. I mean, I just, you know. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Jordan wasn't the first thing to jump for the free throw line, but he popularized it. All right. Bam. 
Ooh, I'm the yeah. tallest midget in this yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead, you ain't knocking down the camera and shit. No, my bad. Yeah, so I like to antagonize you, and why do you antagonize more? First of all, what? Yeah. Just give an example. Yeah, give me an example. What, what I do? What you would antagonize? Okay, I post something that say something that's inspiring or uplifting black women or women or kings men just say something expiring but he'll interject and say something like all these hoes ain't queens or these bitches ain't shit <laughs> or or basically the suggestion the or what what's his what's his uh what his opinion is on what something should be or what it shouldn't like for an example Saturday I was at a speed dating event he felt that a married a married couple should not be hosting that event. Now, of course, it was yeah, other single women there hosting it with him, with her. But he felt was she that there with her husband. Yeah, he was kind of bartending or whatnot, like serving. So it wasn't his out. event. He was just uh, he was Isaac. He was, now he was there. They there there to help the married. They do stuff as a team. So he Isaac. So I don't know about all that. So but, he so he he was there. He yeah, was he there. was there. That's okay. good. And you can make money. Help right. It was a nice event though. It was real good. But Shout you, out to Cassie and Brian. She, they, how they do a lot of stuff together as couples? Yeah, yeah, they do a lot of stuff. Get them on stuff. the show one day. Yeah, we gonna have them there. Yeah, most definitely. We? Hold on, man. Okay. Y'all yeah. have them if on If he gonna be a plug, I know. I'm just fucking with it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um. I got, okay. a, I got a question. Hold okay, on. What's what's the question? Question? Hold what's on. What's the question? I don't know which one I want to hit. Okay, I'm gonna roll with this. You are amazing. I value you from head to toe, mind, body, and soul. I find beauty in your strong will and resilience, right. the way you overcome the stereotypical black woman problems. Right. I love your anger. I love your hair. I love your attitude. I love your love. I hold myself to standards of a black king, so only a black queen can rule over a kingdom with me. Right. Black women with that skin you have and that look, the only you can give and the way you can feed entire villages and lift up men That's and right. destroy all who are in your way. I love you, my queens. What you represent, the mother of the world who gives birth That's to right. beauty itself. They cannot fool me, for I know your worth, your value, your importance. I want you to see yourself as I do. I hope you see the truth of me. Well, that, wait, when you read that, Corey, what was first thing came to your mom? This nigga's trying to get some pussy. Well, well that game, was definitely this wasn't nigga self hating. Definitely wasn't self hating. I mean, you think male hating. Right? It just you about, wrote this right? No, oh, you did. I thought you wrote this. Yeah, it, was, it was just something nah, that I man. that I well, what did you yeah. Now, how many of us, besides if this is our own writing, can say that we don't post stuff of other people's stuff? We do. We right. do. So I like the words that that said, but basically what that meant to me was. The black woman is the original woman on earth. You know what I'm saying? The first, the first manifestation that the creator created. You saying she was a, he created for man? Yes. How does that work? How does that work? You know where the woman you came from, through, right? Through the no. No, you don't know. No, I'm saying I'm saying no to what what you about to say. What? Well, hold on, hold on. What I'm about to say? <laughs> I, I was saying okay, the woman like, came like, from the man. I don't freedom. want to jump to conclusions, oh. but what do you think? I think the woman came from the man's rib, so the man was here first. Okay. So how do you feel about that statement, sir? So how long have men been on this earth? Before women. No, how many I'll years? About, <clears throat> around 6,000. Yeah. Uh, give or take. Yeah. <clears throat> Even easy. though they've scientifically proven that men have been on this earth for over tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of years. I'm going to ask you this. I'm going to ask you this. Because that's a blanket statement. That it is. Sound, hold on, it sound repeated. How do you know when men been here for tens of thousands, hundreds of years on base of science? What do scientists do to prove that? Okay, are y'all going off a of Bible? No, 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 no. Biblical terminology on what y'all what y'all believe so? First off, uh, I believe everything based on the most high. Yeah. Uh, we, 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 that's where all my ideology gonna come from. Yeah. But, right. but just to, uh, so, so that's where I get my timelines and my uh, ideology from. But when you say scientists, like, and that when you say it, you say it definitively, like it makes them infallible. Like everything they say is true. So what? Re so what research or what, what I mean car, is what they, they still do? digging up our bones. What bones are they digging up? The, our black people. Who are? Some of the the uh, 
Shit, woman there. was found in Ethiopia, and her bones trace back to How like. trace them back? Like if you just find a bone and stuff, you can it don't do. Make you it. can do that with like years, thousands and thousands of years of erosion through the pyramids. That's how you can tell. No, no, no. I, this is another thing. Thousands of years. Okay. Here, pyramids, here go. Here go. The pyramids one definitely not hundred thousand years old. Mm -mm. But if you say that they do it by the erosion of the pyramid, what exactly does that mean? Okay. Let's go by idiotic concepts, and we're gonna take stories in the Bible. Let's say Noah's Ark. Okay. You get a Bible and you read how 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 long a cubic is, because that's what they do. That's like a uh, a meter and a uh, like let's say a foot and a half. Cubic that's what it is three feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. So three feet. So like a yard and a half. Thirty-six inches. Yeah. So a cubic is three feet. Mm -hmm. if, I'm, if I'm right, I might be wrong. Google. So it stood. Uh, it stood about forty-five cubics high. That's how much the rain was. How much the water held. How tall is Mount Everest? I don't know. I ain't gonna never climb it. So go ahead. I want to say over twenty or thirty thousand feet, but it also say that it covered the entire Earth. The flood. The yeah. Flood. How does the flood? And, and it's only forty-five cubics high. How did that cover the whole Earth? I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding. Either. Hold on. You said the. The, side, the water, the, side. the water is said in the Bible. When it says if water covers the whole earth, it means that it's a worldwide flood of the deluge. Yeah. And this is not just privy to the Bible. Different cultures across the world have a deluge story, including people in South America, the Babylonians, which is where they get the tales of uh, Gilgamesh and all that. This isn't centrally located in the Bible. It's just the Bible gives finish a detail, a detail <laughs> tell. Account. Finish no. me. The Bible gives a detailed yes, account yeah. of a worldwide story, and there's uh, yeah. if you want to talk about scientific or uh, evidence, there's evidence that there was a deluge or a big flood, a worldwide flood, because there's cities under seas. So it's told that people. I'm had not there. saying it was a flood. It wasn't a flood, so, but I don't think it covered the whole earth. So, so you, why don't think you think the women? That? So you think the women came from that? Like, how do you get that? The women? No, no, it's no, not no, even no, that because no, we kind of getting off the topic of what we're we talking about. We're not really off topic. It's all tying. Yeah, I was trying to. What I, I came to here for because I'm not get to that. I don't want to agree to. Di I can. We can agree to disagree. I mean, like, for, it's all over like, so it's like nobody, yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody gonna be emotional about it. Uh, yeah. So, so um, no, I just want to understand when people make certain statements and stuff. I'm a fan of facts right. and not conjecture or feeling or something that I heard. So, but mm -hmm. how, who's to say that that's all facts? I'm saying that I'm saying it's accounts across the world in different books from different cultures from people who follow different uh, deities. And they're telling that same story. Right. So it leads credence to that as opposed to one scientist or two scientists who are in collusion who have an agenda to push saying this happened. Also, stolen history and... Um, What's stolen and, history? Um, our stolen history. Our culture. Oh, black people. This Okay, oh, this, this is real life. Real quick. When you say black people, you're talking about the color. African. African. When you talk about African, you talk about the continent named after the white man. I'm Africa, saying, Africa was divided into different we got nations. Different, uh, melanated people. It's different nations in Africa. Not every African or person who we call African adhere to the same ideology or things like that. We all don't derive from the same lineage. The Africans, the people we call Africans, like the people who were in the, uh, old Egypt or uh, Libya, Ethiopia, they were Hamites. They're Hamites. We're not Hamites. We're Shemites. We don't have an a Egyptian legacy. That's If you want to talk about stealing culture, when black people start talking about they were pharaohs and things like that, we trying to steal the people who over there now with the high cheekbones, seeing faces. That's their culture, their history. That wasn't our history. Everybody from Africa wasn't from Egypt. Every, every black person in the world did not uh, worship pharaohs or live that. And, and what I wanted to get to this was the veneration of women comes from those religions where they hold women in high esteem and stuff. They call women God. That's how you got... The offshoot religions like uh, in Babylon, they had uh, Semiramis. You got uh, what they call Diana, Athena, where they all venerate the woman goddess and stuff. And that all do come yeah, from I'm our talking. culture. Yeah. Well, not our culture, but so-called black people. That's where it comes from, the veneration of women, where they start putting women on pedestals. I'm going to let you get to your shit, but women was created for men, yeah. not men created for women. At the same time, a man is supposed to protect a woman, not supposed to treat her like she insignificant. She's... If you a car, she's the motor. Yeah. We won't dispute that fact. You need 
We need men. Yeah, we need men. We need to hold on the highest platform. platform. A woman can't do nothing without a man, though. I'm going to tell you how we got Even here. Even when you, hold on, because I'm going to yeah. let him talk his shit, because he here. I'm going to talk his shit, too. Yeah. He, and he's going to say what he want to say. He's going to get his point across, because it would be disrespectful if he don't. But just one thing, one last thing. When we call women queens, you have to understand that a queen can only be a queen if she has a king. Yeah. You're not born a queen. If you want to use the uh, ideology of, uh, like, empires and kingdoms, you can have a king who don't, you know, so a woman can't make you a king. You can only make her, you can only upgrade her. If she's just a woman walking down the street and shit with bags and groceries and shit, you can't even marry her. She becomes she a queen. She becomes a queen. If you a bomb ass nigga walking in the queen marry you, you just a nigga who married the queen. Yeah. It's not an upgrade system, but I, it could get a little bit deeper and shit. I don't want yeah, to go there. Yeah. But let's just get back to where you oh, and Corey was at. And have Corey troll you. Fuck that. It's not I, your I, turn. I, I do troll. Hold on. It's 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Give me 30 seconds. Go ahead. Because look, that's yeah. cool. For one, the poem cool as fuck. Yeah, poem cool And I can shit. understand why you posted. And I can understand why Corey troll you. <laughs> what the poem? I mean, I mean, yeah. it might be rhyme and shit. Yeah, hold on. I, I, I do, Troy. I mean, because you are a friend of mine. Like, we go <laughs> back to Hoover. But I feel like you put these women on the pedestal that they don't need to be. On a what? Did uh, you uh, make uh, up a word? Uh, yeah. Pedestal. A pedestal. <laughs> pedestal. pedestal. A we platter and that. a pedestal. I'm putting it. The listeners <laughs> might not. Have. Okay, well, put on these pedestal that they don't need to be at. Like, I think you kind of, like, uplift them beyond to. Like, I feel on social media. What's wrong with that? Cause you see it all day, bitches get uplifted. I mean, bitches is a, is a term, is a term of a different. But I feel women get uh, uplifted all day. Then you see shit like how niggas ain't shit, the man ain't shit, the man's women, women, women. So when I see a man post it, and it's almost like self hate. Like that's how I look at it. like when you. It can never be sick. Cause I love myself first and foremost. It ain't. It ain't about self hate. Cause I know, well, I know who I am. As a man, like so, man hating that self. Like I know you. Love yourself, or right. whatever. But it seems like you rawing for the women. Like, how am I rawing for for my uplifter? I mean, do we, will you ever uh, uplift a man? Like, well, that ain't I don't mean shit. like that. I don't I mean like that. Stuff about but brothers. You, uh, nah, men you, don't, you post shit really like you know, like that, men. Um, you ain't don't went be through all right. of my stuff. You just went through shit he wanted to see. Yep. Look, man. Yes. <laughs> you brought you brought your notes and shit, man. So what was you want to touch upon? Because Man, I was oh, just just the just basically yeah. the common mistakes that us men and women make, you know, go ahead, dating go ahead. or whatnot. Uh, basically, for a man, number one, ain't no really particular order. Just be upfront about what the relationship is gonna be. You know what I'm saying? If you upfront with the woman and you tell her what you want out of this relationship, whether it's just sex, she's telling you about him. Um, I have. I basically think that this relationship has a chance to go further Let's just fuck right or change. So I like you. I'm here to date you. So is there a possibility that it could change? Then yes, we'll go through that. But it's very, very important that you un that you understand that you got to let the woman know what the relationship status is going to be up front. Because you giving her basically the platform to be responsible in a decision that she makes so she can get her choice. emotional you ties you know her. in check uh whether she gotta um basically just have some understanding of what she's getting herself into so if you decide to leave because she wanted a back door with her baby daddy or do what and that you are you have the the farewell too because so keep you already let it know what it is up front. Just keep, so what's the biggest mistake women make? Well, hold on, hold on, because I'm sure it's more points for me. Yeah. But just to touch on that point exactly, like when you women, the difference between men and women, men, men function logical more than anything. Yeah. We think yeah, we very logical. Women uh, function we think then we act, and women usually act then think. Like it's a lot of regret made based off the decisions Talk they emotions, make. Emotions, yes. Um, when, have you ever been in a situation where you told a woman, like, this is what it's going to be, and you, you tell her, we just fuck it. All day. And then, but she's still attached emotionally to you. Like, how rare is it? How how often do women, like, go along? Like, a lot of women can start off with that facade where, yeah, I can be with, but at the end of the day, they're emotional right. people. Mm -hmm. And they attach. Because women, I always say normal women don't fuck recreation. They don't. Not on a consistent basis. They might have a little lapses, but normal women want that security of one man. 
So how often does that work for you? Like I understand where you absolve yourself of any guilt when you tell one, well, I told you what I it told, was. Yeah. But like how, how do that help a woman who's emotional? Well, it the truth hurts. Yeah. You know, so that's like an emotional tie. You know, she feels she got one, but and that is something that I wanted to read because I was gonna answer that. So we might as well go over to the women's side and they'll and this will answer your question right here. And this is a mistake the woman cannot make. Um, you cannot rewrite a relationship contract just because your feelings have gotten involved. So basically, y'all can come to the table to uh, basically, what's the word I'm looking for? Agree. Negotiate. Mm -hmm. You can come to the table and negotiate. But the man don't have to change the negotiation. You know what I'm saying? He don't have to decide with you, okay, I, you, I think I want to be in a relationship or whatnot. The man don't have to do that just because you caught feelings. And a lot of times, sister, when it's real to them and they ain't had it and they they, they want you and they want you out of their self, even though you're being real with them, they don't have the wherewithal to do to just make you there. And in that situation, do you think that sometimes, like when a man tells a woman exactly what it is, and as cold as you want to be, as much as women desire to be protected, we have an innate something inside of us that's built right. in to protect. Right. So you think sometimes those situations right there leading you to be like, like damn, I'm stuck sticking around and shit because of her feelings. Like, yeah, just like, like do if you you're think, not a cold hearted individual. Do you think the majority of relationships, this is how I feel personally, that men and women are in that the man ended up in a relationship? It's like think about every relationship. Thing. Think about every relationship you've been in. Let's just say it started off. You was attracted to her. You liked her. You thought yeah. you loved her, and what you may do, but the, the feeling goes away. The initial feeling you have towards one woman always goes away. So, just do you think like while she look at you like women trying to be like, oh, this is my night shining arm, and I've been wanting this my whole life. Right. But you've been trying to. I'm about to knock all these bitches down. Yeah. But. You get to like her more than you like everybody else. So you start hanging around with her more. And it's not even something that you consciously thinking. You just notice and shit, my toothbrush over there, shit, I got a couple pair of drawers over yeah. there. Next thing you know, y'all living together. I'm hanging that's out how with more, her kids. more clothes. That's how that's how relationships here. happen for men. Yeah. Whereas women, it's like they see it. I got like a question. they see it happening way before. Hold on, cool. I know, I'm just saying, yeah. I just got a question. But, but, like, why do you think that's like how most relationships start for men where he's just like he's there? And then actually, you know, he's there. And so, like, and, he, and yes, before he can be like, damn, I still was wanting to fuck somebody else. Yeah. But he's so indeed to it now where she, and she's emotionally attached to it, and he emotionally attached to her, but not the same way. Like, a lot of women think that feelings are 50-50, which they're not. Yeah. A woman, I always say it's good for a woman to love you and you like her. I think that's the best way for a relationship to work, because you can treat a woman better when you like her. As opposed to love, because love makes you feel obligated. Yeah. Love, love makes a man feel obligated. Where like you like what you do. Tell him about your happiness tree, hash or or a guy like how do you? Oh, feel? We don't, happiness. I think a man should be happy. Then also, that's the only way relationship works is the man is primarily happy. That's the only way. Cause men have the stability in the way they think. We always stable. Right. We don't catch periods and shit. We don't be shitty throwing shit around the house. Not a normal man. Emotional man and shit, he go off, go crazy and shit, but right. when I'm talking about men, I'm talking about the, the the natural and normal, not the anomaly. But I think it trickles down, happiness trickles down. I don't believe in 50-50 in no aspect. I think a man has to dominate a relationship with a soft hand. But go ahead with your other points. So. Okay, number two. This is for the women. Do not say you're going to leave. Don't say you're going to leave. <laughs> don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, since we talk about sex, I mean, you know, we just yeah, yeah I have. Yeah, Wait. but would you do it again? Like, probably if it's why would I mean, I'm wrong. Did you, look, did you look bad on the woman? Like, ah, man, you gave it to me on the first date. I, I can't fuck with you. Not necessarily. Uh, I was just asking because you said stop telling. I just want. Well, sometimes to I don't want it that easy. You don't. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. look at her the same way. Right, so you look at her different. You think yeah, because if I can get her, you know what I'm saying? Else yeah. Get okay. Yeah. So basically, okay, giving out 
information that we don't need to be hearing about too soon. Because <laughs> when we decide to lay with you, yeah. and when you decide to give us some, we we gonna know if it's been two two years, five years, twelve months, however long you say. We uh, don't I thought know. You about wait till you get something. No, nah, I'm saying oh, like if, like shit. whenever we do it, when you say you ain't did it in that period of time, uh -huh. we gonna know. You know why? Because we gotta <laughs> knock on the door a couple times before we before it answers. Uh, okay. So, do you? But you some know? women are running around, you know, with the loosey goosey. It's a lot you of you know what I'm saying. <laughs> in that situation, like yeah. how old are you? I'm thirty. At thirty, you meet a woman who's thirty-two, like she's thirty also. How long are you willing to wait for Smarty being fucked pussy? Yeah. Like, I don't like what that I'm one. saying is, no, like, like they will lie that. about the last time that they did it. Yeah. But how long would you wait? Like, do you, I don't feel that there, do there's a, a time limit on it. Like, do I don't you be feel a gentleman? Like a 90 day rule, I don't think that's necessary. So it's move based. So it's not the vibe. It's just a vibe, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a vibe. Because, like, I don't like, like, I don't want no bitch just knowing it. Like, oh, yeah, you do this. Yeah, I'll do my uh, hood challenge. But right. I don't want to feel like you making me wait for some shit that's already happened. <laughs> you know right, right, right. Yeah. See, here I am, 30, no kids. You know, I'm doing what I need to do to come up in the world. I definitely see a bright future for myself. I'm definitely, you know, I'm a high commodity out here. So is this brother. So are these brothers, you know. So, like... It ain't gonna be hard for us to get a woman or get you know what I'm saying? Ten. Two, three, four, ten. <laughs> you know, cause I think the ratio of men and women is like fifteen or twenty to yeah, one. Black like men to like, black women. It ain't like that on accident. Yeah, it ain't like that. Yeah. You know, we dying, we going to jail, and some of us brothers turning gay. But it's real. That's yeah. why women are turning the other way around too. So, I mean, but yeah, not to get off the top. I really see y'all share a nigga and then go get a boy right. head, uh, fade yeah. wearing bitch. Or Manny Fresh. Yeah. And she look like Manny Fresh. Where we are now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we gonna go back to the men. Um, uh, let me see. This is going to be a topic. If you have a problem putting your hands on women, your ass do not need to be dating. That ain't, that ain't nothing debatable. Yeah, that ain't that ain't not, yeah, right that ain't there. Right there. Right. Yeah. That ain't no point to argue right there. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I'm tired <laughs> now that's of your pimp, a nigga, sister. Slap you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like some women, they're like they're addicted to those situations. Yeah. It's a little thing, though. I don't think it's like... That that's like the highest level of insecurity and shit. We usually let niggas beat you up. Why? Right. You know what I'm saying? Are you, you start, are you started just to get, you know what I'm saying, that type of rouse out of it? Uh, yeah, that's not debatable. But a lot of them women don't have men in their life that care about them like that. And it's, Best it's, believe if they got men in their life that care about them, they not going to be getting beat up like that. You ain't going to find it. But a man that's beating on women out here, he needs some help. Something you know what I'm saying? Too. But what we need is a ski mask team. We need a black ski mask team. I guarantee you, if if, if a woman just gets beat up in a number called 1 800, and a neighbor called that number, 1 800, I'm going to get in that ass mm. and have 20 people in black ski masks outside the door every time that a woman gets beat. Oh, I guarantee you, after okay. his neck is broken or something like do you, that. Do you believe he, every time you hear a woman being hit, do you believe every time she, ah, he, he hit me? Do you just I'm just saying, believe? like, not, not necessarily that uh -huh. that's the case, domestic-wise. Uh -huh. But it's a lot of men that do <laughs> beat women out here. It ain't, yeah, it ain't a lot. It's just that when they beat them, they beat the shit out of them. Yeah, see, it's like, like, yeah, see, like, a lot. <laughs> but for women, I'm lying, No, because personally, like, how, yeah, many, I, like, I, like I, how many men in person you know that beat women? That I've seen with my own eyes? That you know I've person. seen. I know you've seen. We all seen it, but I yeah, mean, like, you know, like, could you just rattle off five names? This nigga be beating up bitches. This nigga be beating up bitches. This nigga be beating up bitches. Like, five people that you know. Well, I've seen it, but I also heard that, that that's they say they will hit a woman. Yeah. I mean... But to each his own. Yeah. All right. What's the next one? Uh, back to the women. Don't ever, 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 ever <laughs> set a baby trap to try to keep a man. 
Man, look. <laughs> women can't be totally held accountable for that shit. Yeah, it's a lot now of niggas that's that ain't trying to. Yeah, that's only 50 50 shit. I know a lot of niggas like We're talking about a man of means. Now, sometimes, yeah, you do got. Men that go ahead and impregnate a woman just to just to keep her around or think she's because it do I I I tell you it do work both ways because I know of some dudes out here that that's holding on to that and will do that on purpose. That just he was raised by his do. mother. His father wasn't around. I mean, I mean, I don't know how true that is, but you know, all right, yeah. Right, but no what I'm saying that. that for is because. When you feel sabotage, and a man, and like some some of the men that are uh, means and they doing right, doing good, and then you go and get married to them later down in the relationship, they feel like they don't have to be held accountable if they go and step out to you because you sabotaged me in the beginning by setting this baby trap. You knew I did not want to have kids at this particular time. You know, I felt I felt be, he's gonna feel a sense of betrayal. He's gonna feel so, so many different type of ways. Listen, man. Hey, I got a question. Listen, this is my thing. Once you sign up, yeah. you are not a victim. You're yeah, a volunteer. Yeah, volunteer. <laughs> Listen, a man can't never blame a woman for getting her pregnant. That, it's yeah, just, I'm not listen, saying that. Because once you fuck it, man, you yeah, fuck you it. know when you got the butt. Yeah, it, it happens. happens. Yeah. yeah. So y'all saying it ain't women out here? That it's women who are taking it out it of the condom. Two to it takes two. It takes two. Yeah. A condom ain't 100% sure. I'm right. saying it's that, women who sabotage the, yeah. you can avoid and put it in them. Yeah. yeah. It's a sick shit, man. It's a sick yeah. That's yeah. my high level sick yeah. shit, too. <laughs> I got, I'm scared of that yeah. motherfucker. That person you just like that. Like, kids, do, would you date a chick that have kids? Yeah, I have. What about when y'all don't fuck around no more? Because I seen you put up a post. Yeah, about, I have. Like, you would still, like, you know, it fucks up the relationship between you and that kid. Like, if you and a woman break up and she take her kid. Yeah. Home. I say I, I hate if I had a good connection with that kid. Then I'll feel bad about that. You don't yeah. say them ain't my kids. Oh well. Nah, you I can't don't say that like because kids, it takes a village to raise a child. It ain't just one person. Uh, you know see, what I'm saying? That's a whole they go that's through. A they go through walks of life, mentoring through coaches, all, all different type of male role models in their lives. So, it you know, it, yeah. it's, it varies. We're Back to the men. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Protect your financial information until you find your queen. So Protect it even you gotta you watch your social queen. security card, all of that. Like I said, <laughs> yeah, in a perfect yeah, yeah. world, in a yeah. perfect world, you know what I'm saying? Everything's good, People but we don't live in them. <sighs> if you marry, shit, my parents been married over fifty years, and they only have joint accounts. Well, they still got separate. Accounts. I mean, that's each own. Yeah, right. I mean, it depends yeah. on if y'all got a business relationship and all of that too. Still going. Separate it's accounts. crazy how like everything right. revolve around. And money. then it got, yeah, depends that. on your trust. How can I? Can you trust a woman? But what she get? One of do you trust women? Is, I don't trust none of these hoes out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The only woman I trust got the same name as me. Right. As do, you trust the yeah, do you trust Yeah, do you trust them? Or do you treat them like individuals? I can trust my mother. I'm talking about not your mother. Nah, that's your mother. mother. We are, so are you I mean, do you think your father trusted your mother? Do, yeah. I've given trust to a woman before. Yeah, I can say that I trust right, a woman. Right, right now, do you trust her? Hey, this thing, 30-year-old Angelo, could you trust a woman now? Not right now, no. Uh, and, where, and like, where does that come it from? Gotta grow, it got to grow into that. So the trust it has to be iron. Yeah, it got to yeah. be iron. And that's what people think, man. They, it's a fallacy to think that you're supposed to trust somebody right just because the gate, they yeah. say trust me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mean, people, and they, and women say this is how they deduce it. Because they always try to reduce you to the lowest common denominator or make you feel how they feel. They tell you, oh, you must have been hurt. And they think that's the basis, but they don't understand that. You have to smarten up once you experience something. It's not yeah. always hurt. Like men don't react in most of the situations like women do, and they can't mm -hmm. di they can't digest that. They think because they react emotionally, like I'm, they build walls. I'm just not gonna trust yeah. nobody. Just me and my kids. I'm right. like that. We don't respond like that to situations. But if I say I, don't, I trust, I trust people to do what they do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I look at I, I look at people and I think about every situation that can happen, and I try to prepare myself for it. Like that. So I understand, man. If you say you don't trust somebody, man, that's the wisest thing to do. And that's just not women. That's just people, period. Yeah. 
we're gonna go to the women. Uh, probably like six, six more. minutes. Um, women. Okay. Save something for marriage. You gotta save something for marriage. You going out here? Ain't gonna lie to you. Having you threesomes, mean? twosomes, foursomes, <laughs> so whatever it is, you're getting. You know, you all the dads. Your wife, like you get married and have a I'm just, All I'm saying is, is like save something for your yeah, husband. Yeah, go and finish your point. Yeah. yeah, because if you don't save nothing for your marriage, what else you gonna give? What What can you give me that somebody else ain't have? Like when you say, are you talking about just sexual, like things sexually? Yeah. Not just sex, you know. Yeah, it is just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, nigga, come on now. I don't want no woman that every man that had. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's yeah. like, that's that's like why you want two things. Right. You be the best fucker that she ever met. Yeah. And two, you don't ever ask her if you the best fucker she ever yeah. met. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? You let her tell right. you. See, if she's like, damn, I ain't never feel like that again. Then that's when you take your fucking trophy and walk yeah. with that but don't you ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't this you the ever. best dick you ever had. Also women. Also women. With that being said, y'all single and shit, and y'all got them vibrators and all type of bullets or whatnot, sometimes get, get they sex guy. drive could be <laughs> astronomical on certain, on certain days. So they given high expectations with shit that's probably even unreal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't have a battery. So, I don't have a battery. Yeah, so it's like y'all y'all doing that to yourself. So when you get the real thing, it's not even gonna be you think it's gonna last for that long? You it just it just it's just not good. I agree with that, man. I, I mean, I mean, for just don't have them expectations. I mean, I'm a middle aged black man. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm not bigger. twenty no more. And I'm in shape too, but damn. I always tell people, like, no matter when I step on the court, ladies, I'm Jordan. Ladies, I'm I can always still. Jordan on the court. It's just, am I jump from the free throw line, Jordan, or fadeaway, Jordan? I'm still gonna be the best in the yeah, league. Right. But where's, I might, where's I might Jordan warm, still average? You know, I what might saying? not warm up till halftime. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Uh, What's your, how many points you got left? I really don't want to cut short. Yeah, you uh, got three minutes left. Let's wrap up with your favorite one. Yeah, give us your favorite, favorite point. At, damn. Okay. Now, I'm going to say this one. Men, if you out on a date, make sure, make our women feel secure. Don't. Flirt or stare at another woman while you with her. Oh, you can't stop looking. Yeah, you can't. You yeah. can't. You can't. Yeah. You gotta validate her. So yeah, women, so many right. women, like yeah. so many, hold on. Yeah. so many women are emotional, and they might have low self esteem. But really, women, y'all shouldn't really be technically dating if your self esteem is that low. Like, well, everybody appreciates a nice body, like, right? You know. Like in a relationship, I look. But all even the time. on a date, you don't want her to be like when she go in the house after you go through dropping her off or this whatnot. Like all the fat asses. Yeah, he looked at her ass the whole night. So it's like, what is her recap gonna be of you at the end of, the, listen, of this date? Listen, I look so, all the time. I disagree with this statement. Yeah, hold on, I'm not done. Yeah, I, hold on. Yeah. Then let's say y'all with her together. It's gonna be beautiful women out there that you can that that you so, like so you or that you you're gonna look? see. Nah. Be like, yeah, I see these women, but baby, I'm here with you. I'm here with you. I'm not saying that. It's either. gonna be other women beautiful, more beautiful than her, but so she you just gotta let her know her. that you with her. I'm not gonna like. Nah, just make her feel secure. I'm not gonna self neuter. Yeah. Like if my my, best, my thing <laughs> is, I'm not gonna go over and say shit to this bitch. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna look. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, got like, an eye gouge. I mean. Don't we gonna look. look. This we tell her, don't stare at me. The good yeah. relationships. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this. The good relationships is when y'all can look together. Beautiful, beautiful. That's right. like the most important thing I heard this year. Right. Yeah. But I, I'm about to put that up. In a perfect thing. world. But we don't live in a perfect right. world. This, and listen, though, like what you're saying, this is like I think when you say the things you had to uh, establish with a woman to begin a relationship, you have to establish those type of things too, where you. 
your emotions don't dictate my actions. Right? Yeah. The way you feel do not dictate me. And if you establish that early, right. you don't have to worry about it. Like I always say, man, I walk around with a song in my head. And it's like, do 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 And no matter what a woman's saying to me, that song don't change. Her emotions don't change the song in my head. You right. know what I'm saying? And she crying, do 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 she happy, do 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 It's the same <laughs> shit no matter what. So for me to function, like I said, my happiness is paramount. So if I want to be happy, I have to be true to myself. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm going to look, I mean, at the same time, you have to be respectful. You can't be, uh, yeah, so... You, you can't stop right here. God, you can't be silly. You can't be with doing you. that yeah, shit. Yeah. Like she has to understand. Like, look, this is what I am. And before I met you, I was who I am. Right. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't sitting around waiting for you to come in my life. <laughs> I had a toothbrush over your house and shit. Yeah. And now you're pregnant. Boy. You know what I'm saying? But I understand where you come from. Like, you can't be disrespectful. Like I said, I'll never treat a woman like I'm a pimp. Yeah. I'll never tell a bitch no shit like you need me. You ain't shit without me. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think don't you do should that. try to. I think you have to finesse. You have to make a woman feel cool with you because to her, you have to be better. Yeah. A woman don't want you if she don't think you're better than her. If a woman feel like she can get something beneath